Hundred one gang. All right, what's up, y'all? It's Boy Paris, and I'm back and get with another banger on my channel. As you can see by the title below, I'm gonna be giving y'all a life update. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know. But yeah, y'all know if you are new to this channel, make sure that y'all go down and subscribe, press that bell, make sure you like, comment on this video, comment like on all my other videos make sure you catch up if you're not caught up already because what you doing if you're not so get in tune get in spooky be a y'all hold on i'm closing my door because uh this life update is going to be real tea filled um if you feel like your feelings are going to be hurt or if you feel like this video is a bad to or anything feel that way because i mean that's how that channel probably is but i'm just feeling like this is my oh, this is my video this is my channel this is about my life update. So you think what I'm gonna say is what I'm gonna say. That's what's gonna be okay. That's the next for me. Let me tell y'all. But let's without further ado, let's get into this video. Let's get into it. I just wanna recap. Um, I am uh fresh out of uh freshman year. I am officially gonna be a sophomore in college at Alabama A&M University. Freshman year was lit. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all with COVID and everything going around. And the restrictions that we had and all the other stuff, we still made it fun. Like, and I can, and all class of 20, well, most of class of 2024 can say that for the people that actually got outside. You feel me? Some people were like, you know, stay in their room, stay with their little crew, stay inside, do what they did, and they enjoy college day way. But you know, like the way, you know, everybody want to enjoy college, we enjoy college, and we made it day, and we made it, you know, and even faculty, they helped us a little bit with the games and the choir parties and the events on the football field, and it was all fun. But now that everybody is vaccinated, and you know, stuff is starting to get back to normal, we can be back in business, and I cannot wait. So, like I'm saying, like, freshman year was fun. It was filled with a lot of ups and downs, friendship, breakup, and, you know, just a whole lot, a whole lot of, like, like whatever happened in freshman year stayed up, stays in freshman year. But basically, a little recap on that. My friends and everybody that I'm cool with, everybody that I'm not cool with. Um, just basically a recap on that. Like, um, I mean, when I came into college, I really, I really came there not knowing anybody, but only like select a few. And when I got there, I didn't even, as y'all know, like y'all know who Harrison is. Like, he was in my previous video. Like, that's probably like one of my closest friends at AM right now, besides Camille. Couple days and couple hours, and you're just going to be right off the bat. People are going to like end up talking to you. You're going to end up talking to other people. Like, it's going to be easy. And even you're already going to know it, like someone know of everybody because of like the hashtag that y'all use, like you know, hashtag and then um, 24 hashtag and I'm 25. You know, like just, you're going to know who's in your class. You know who I was hanging out with, like when I first got there. Like we was all cool and everything. Like I want to say all my friends groups, all my friends groups. That's another thing. And come a freshman, your friends group, they may last, they may not last. Cause all of my friends groups, we all lasted for a long time, but we all fell out for very, very, very petty reasons. But um, we're not gonna talk about that too much. We just know like, we all still friends, but you know, we just all needed time to spend. Cause after we fell out, we all definitely spaced out into our own crowds of people of how we were and all the other stuff. And, you know, we learned and we, you know, made some friends, did some friends, I almost saw a couple friends, you feel me? But you know, it's whatever. But you know, we all still come back and we be like, oh yeah, yo, we cool. We cool, we always gonna be cool. We was doing this, doing that before, you know. Man, you know you recap on your freshman year and it's like so funny. Cause when you look back, and when you look back at it now, it's, everything is just gonna be funny. But yeah, anyway, like, some of the friends that I did have though, it was just like, I wasn't, you know, I always felt a vibe from them. But it was never like, it was never like a bad vibe to where I had to like approach it in a, in a way where it was just like, oh, you know, like it was just like, okay, little petty stuff that you would do with your friends. But you know, them, them your friends, so you know, just be like, all right, I'm gonna just blow it off. We gonna be back cool tomorrow type stuff. But you know, stuff like, stuff that we fell out of and how we fell out and what we were doing and how it was being handled and how stuff was on social media and stuff, like, um, brush off my shoulder, like, People like that, they wasn't really your friends to begin with if they said what they said and they meant what they said. And if they didn't mean that, they wouldn't have said it in the first place. So, and that's going into another reason why after being out uh, freshman year, after going to college and being on my own, you know, being on my own thoughts, being around 
so being around my own crowd of people of who I like to be around and all that other stuff and learning about that, I've also learned how to um, personally keep my inner peace my first priority. Because when, like, that's going to be the most important thing and anybody going to look after your peace but yourself. So, cutting people off, taking time to myself off social media sometimes, taking time to myself from the, like, you know, even from, like, the people that I live with, even from my friends, like, just taking your own time to hear your own voice and how you feel about the situation and how you feel about the situation that you go through and all the other stuff, that's, like, yo, that's, like, that's, like, that's how I'm starting to self-progress and how different ways I'm handling situations or ways to handle situations and all that other stuff. It's just little stuff. But on top of that, relationship-wise, like, some relationships, like, I've had to, like, I really wanted to work out, and they, you know, they weren't really working out, but, like, at the end of the day, like, you know, you really love somebody, but at the end of the day, like, it can be physically, mentally, like, it can be draining. It can be draining. It can really be draining, and that's, I've done it before, around this time last year, and I had to do it again recently because it was just, like, my peace and what, like, my main priorities of what I have to do comes first before anything boyfriend girlfriend family member anything like i even i've been cutting off i've been cutting off family y'all like, i've been like and i feel like that's my therapy you need to find y'all need to find your own therapy my therapy is dyeing my hair getting haircuts and cutting people off because definitely cutting people off just heavy on that i just added like five people within like one day and i posted this post i'm gonna try and go on my screenshot it's probably gonna be right here but it was like saying like you know don't think it's any type of undercover animosity or any, where it's any type of problem or anything like that because it's not it's just a way of me growing into myself and finding my inner peace and finding like you know ways to deal with stuff and it's my and it's like you know stuff that's meant to be relationships friendships anything with your family members anything with yourself anything is going to come back around if it's true and it's meant to be it's going to come back around and I've accepted the fact that if anything is meant to be, it's going to come back around. If it's not, I mean, if it wasn't real, then it wasn't real. So what? I already threw it in the garbage. So you feel me? Like, you just have to put yourself first, your mind first, your heart, your inner peace, everything. Ha anything with you has to come first before you put anybody else or any or anything else first. And that's just me. Like, sometimes it's just people need time to, people need, including myself, people both people like both like people that go through relationships maybe sometimes both of them need their own space to figure out if this is what either of them want or even just life problems personal wise like i was going through personal stuff with somebody i was talking to and they were going through personal stuff that they was going through and you know at the time it was just like to me being an older person me being a bigger person it was just like obviously it was too much going on but us to even try to work through what we was going through or to even like rekindle or or even just to just talk about it was just like stressful like it had such and i don't i do know why i had a tell on me because i have feelings and everybody has feelings and i have a big heart like this this is what i say about anything it's gonna hurt it's gonna hurt more to hold on and it's gonna hurt more to hold on more than to just let go when you just let go all that relief off your hand all that relief off your shoulders your muscles and everything your back is going you know it's gonna it's gonna lift up you feel me so that's what i did i just let that situation go but if it's meant to be it's, it's meant to be it'll come back if it'll come back it's gonna come back but you never know but until then i'm enjoying my summer i'll be with um i'll be with my best friend i'll be with my cousin i'll be with my own little group and we just be out we be having fun and minding my own business and all that other stuff but any type of like negative energy i haven't been getting into it with nobody lately i haven't been getting into it with nobody since i got into it with my last group of friends and that was like what february march but yeah i mean ain't no bad blood with them i mean we all had our little say so we all had our little you know little social media posts whatever case be we all know me and a couple no me and yeah, me and a couple of them talked, and, you know, we had our differences. We said it was petty, it was bogus, you know, we did what we did, we said what we said, and that was that. And that's another part of growing up is owning up to what, you know, you did wrong, and you owning up. So, you know, just with maybe the stuff that you did do, like, you know, the stuff that you did do was wrong, you, you feel me? So, you just, just owning up, basically, owning up to your actions and owning up and just basically just 
blaming you just saying you're wrong when you were wrong or even if you're not wrong just like blowing stuff off and just like you know just blowing the whole situation off and just moving on from the situation that's just like i feel like that's some, that's just another part of growing up it's just admitting your wrongs and moving on i admitted my wrongs from dead group of friends i admitted my wrongs from the last relationship i was in i I mean, my wrongs from the last relationship I was in. I, I mean, my wrong, my wrongs for everything. That's what I really like. That's what really be keeping me from YouTube and making videos like this because I be just, you know, in my own little zone before I make videos like this to like make sure I have the whole full story straight. You feel me? At the end of the day, you just gotta know that as much as long as you threw it away, not not threw it away, but you know, you moved on from, from the situation and you found out another way to relieve yourself from it and calm down about it and you know just move on and be at peace with it and you know you just still you know you, you still think about it every now and then but it's like when you think about it it's just like all right it's just a little thought going about my day that's what i do but yeah y'all i'm really intertwined with myself and me moving forward because now it's like i'm gonna be a sophomore in college i'm gonna be 19 years old and it's like I'm getting more and more deep into like more serious stuff in my life. So like anything that don't got to do with that or anything benefiting me, it's going to go in the garbage. Like honestly, like if you're not, if you're not talking about no money for no college, if you're not talking about no money, period. If you're not talking about no scholarship, if you're not talking about no internship, if you're not talking about no jobs, we can't talk at all, honestly. If you're not talking about benefiting me, we can't, we can't talk. We can't talk at all. And that's why it's so hard for me to find somebody to talk to because I have all these expectations. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with having expectations because you know what you want and you feel me, you're going to get what you want. You're not going to settle for less. Not the, you feel me? Y'all better listen to me. If y'all don't listen to me, but yeah, like I'm saying, like I've been saying, like, put yourself, put yourself first before anything. But yeah, on top of that, I've been working, y'all. I'm back dancing. Uh, we got some competitions coming up, some shows coming up, so stay tuned for that. Might do some vlogs, like, in practice or something like that, because we getting ready for, um, a big competition coming up, uh, later on in the summer. I moved back on campus, uh, August 9th on my birthday. Well, I don't move in August 9th, I leave from Chicago, go back to Alabama August 9th, but then I move in August 10th through the 11th, so I, just, like, I cannot wait to get back to my friends, y'all. It's... If y'all just know how my freshman year, like my like the end of my second semester went, like it was just like I just now just really cannot wait to go back school. Matter of fact, like whole school, whole second semester, how that rolled out like from March, you no, know, like end of February, like the end, like it was lit, like it was so lit. Even first semester, like first semester was lit. Just cannot wait to go back. I can't wait to get involved. I can't wait to just go back and get back in person, get back in school. Like, I haven't been in school for real, for real since March of 2020 and that was more than a year ago so I'm ready to get back in class in front of somebody's face and they're teaching me. Be faithful and be in good vibes, put good energy out into the world that everything is going to be back to normal, everything is going to be okay, ain't gonna be no more daily viruses, no more bees, no more none of that, no more no more Dumb dumbbell presidents. We just we just gonna hope that all that was left in the past decade. All that was left in the past decade. 2020, 2020 up. We we up from there. We up to, from there. It's a whole new, it's a whole new decade, and we living it. I do. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope that you know any type of information that you want us to get from this video, you got. If you looking for anybody else, I hope. Both of y'all seen what y'all wanted to see. Like anybody, you know, just I just hope y'all enjoyed this video. Y'all got what y'all wanted to get out of this video. Um, and anything that I said against anybody, I hope y'all don't take it in any type of negative energy terms. Like I'm go I'm on good terms with everybody that I talked about in this video. And if you know I'm talking about you, you know I'm talking about you. We on good terms. If you want to text me, you can text me to talk. But um, yeah, no spiteful, no no bad blood on no on nobody in i hope not not yet, especially not on my end i'm good like i said i'm at peace i'm at peace with myself and everything and any type of situation i was in so i'm at peace with everything and yeah so like i said i hope y'all enjoyed this video make sure that you like comment and subscribe press the bell below 
for all notifications of when I post. Follow all my social media in the description below. Follow and subscribe to all of my friends who see the videos in the description below. They will all be in the link below. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this life update. Um, comment for more videos that y'all would like to see on my channel. And without further ado, I am out of here. <laughs>